Welcome to this grand celebration of the legacy, life, and lasting influence of Richard Feynman, explorer, teacher, and seer, attributes rarely found alone and even rarer combined in one individual. Although not of Caltech until recently, I grew up as a physicist with the Feynman lectures, encountering the essential freedom and the beauty of his approach to illuminating the world of our experience. Permit me to quote from the Feynman Lectures, Volume 1, Lecture 3. Look at a glass of wine closely enough. We see the entire universe. There are the things of physics, the twisting liquid which evaporates depending on the wind and weather, the reflections in the glass, and our imagination adds the atoms. The glass is a distillation of the Earth's rocks, and in its composition, we see the secrets of the universe's age and the evolution of stars. What strange arrays of chemicals are in the wine? How did they come to be? There in wine is found the great generalization. All life is fermentation. <laughs> Nobody can discover the chemistry of wine without discovering, as did Louis Pasteur, the cause of much disease. How vivid is the claret, pressing its existence into the consciousness that watches it. If our small minds, for some convenience, divide the glass of wine, this universe, into parts, physics, biology, geology, astronomy, psychology, and so on, remember that nature does not know it. So let us put it all back together, not forgetting ultimately what it is for. What better way to capture the essence of Caltech? Do not fall prey to the lures of specialization, but instead insist on a capacious view of science. At the same time, focus on problems that matter and take a gimlet eye view of how your insights make possible future discoveries. And above all, be fearless. We sorely miss Richard Feynman's ability to explain and to inspire, but most of all, to recast our experience of nature in new terms. Fortunately, we have learned from him the need to put it all back together, not forgetting ultimately what it is for. I now have the extraordinary honor to turn the lecture over to Joan Feynman, a gifted space scientist who started her career as an assistant to her brother in his home electronics lab. In the true Feynman tradition, she has averred that the whole point of science is to understand the mysteries you see around you. Joan.